Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here just finishing up my coffee in the morning watching my beautiful baby chicks. I made a couple changes to their little brooder box, but they're getting big. Um, I don't know. I may end up moving them out to the van, you know, the back part today. I'm not sure. I need to look at the weather forecast to make sure that it's not going to get down too low overnight because I don't think I'm going to be able to um, hook the heat mat up out there. They haven't used the heat mat for almost a week so uh and they're doing just fine they're getting so big though anyhow i gotta go look at my garden um hopefully it's supposed to rain <laughs> tonight later on this evening um so i gotta get the water catchment stuff all set up to make sure that it it can capture water anyhow uh yeah so let me just finish this here coffee and uh get going here's the sweet babies i know it's kind of dark at that end of the box I put the roosting area over here. Those are just two flaps that I folded down. Put in an extra roosting bar. They've got three now because they were fighting over the roosting bars and they're now roosting overnight. And I'm not even sure they're big enough to not fit through the little slats in the van. And also, it's going to drop down to 59 degrees for two nights. So I'm not so sure that's going to be good for them. But just. What do you think? You think that one's a rooster? I know it's hard to see the tail. You know what? I'm going to move this light a little bit. Look at you. You gorgeous baby. What do you think? Rooster or no? Come on, guy. Hold still. What do you think? Let's see if we can look at those tails. I don't know could go either way. It's the only barred rock that I've got out of all of them. I'm pretty sure that's barred rock. But just look. Look at that one. It's got like Egyptian eyes. <laughs> There's Zoom a Zoom. Hey girlfriend. Each and every one of them looks a little different. And it's weird because the leghorn is the biggest. Of course it came from the biggest egg. And she's got like specks of black all over her. In fact, you can't see it, but I thought she was pasting up because she had some black towards her hindquarters, but it's not. It's just a black feather. So I don't know. I think I'm going to leave them in here. I'm not even going to take them outside today because they've, uh, it's going to, hopefully, it's going to rain. So I got to go outside and get things ready. Look at you. What do you think? It's got the biggest comb. Tail feathers look like they're kind of going down, but I don't know. Could go either way. Whoa! <laughs> that was funny. Whew, that was close. That one, the barred rock, almost flew the cuckoo's nest or whatever. <laughs> I got him back in though. These tomato plants are getting so big. I think the first thing I need to do before, hopefully, crossing my fingers that it rains, I need to shore up, oh yeah, look at This whole plant is knocked over. So, I gotta get me some string or some twine or something and get them to stand up. I trimmed a bunch more off because these were just basically lying on the ground. Um, this isn't exactly right yet, but it's, I put an extra tall stake up in there. Um, I need to do more to this, but we're starting to get some rumblings in the clouds, and look at this. Look at these poor tomatoes. So, I think I'm going to go get the buckets, put them underneath the eaves of the roof, and get all the, uh, water catchment things set up. But look at, I'm going to get some huge tomatoes. I just need to, look at, it's all bendy. Oh my gosh, I was just bringing the buckets over. I checked this last night. These were not this big last night. They're huge. I need to check the other squash plants. That's a little bit better. <laughs> I've kind of woven that twine or rope or whatever it is in between. But I've got an absolute ton of tomatoes coming on. I just can't wait till the big ones start ripening. Oh, I can't wait. Look at this big, huge cluster over here. They're starting. They're starting to go. But... That's good. I think it's going to rain. 
I think it's going to rain. I just hope the wind isn't too bad because this is not the best way to have things. So, um, one thing I did notice, check this out. I'm going to show you. Look at that. I got me a green pepper. I wonder if I've got any. Oh, I've got jalapenos. I've got jalapenos. Yep. You see them? You see them, you guys? I got little jalapeno peppers. Oh, I've got a bunch over there. And the cayenne are finally starting to flower. So I think things are going to be okay. Oops, I got to go get that beetle and squish it. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of them. Yeah, I take beetles off and I just um, squish them and feed them to the chickens. Whoa. Oh, please, tomato plants, please hold up. The good thing is, is that I'm kind of down in a valley. So the wind doesn't really always damage stuff around here. But we've got a few sprinkles so far. Oh, look at what I've harvested so far. Come on. Come on, rain, please. Oh, where are my chickens? There they are. All right, I'm going to get them in their yard. Well, it's not coming down very hard yet, but you know I got to check. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little trickle. So this is all set up just fine. Let's see how this one's doing since the wind kind of got it going. Yep, it's going in. It's coming down in the bottom right there and from right there as well. So just a little trickle, but it's something. Now this is the one that I'm <laughs> kind of concerned about because it was so windy but yeah we're getting some once it's it overflows this part it'll go into here so I'm not even gonna mess with this because this water will help it weight down a little bit and it'll go over and just go down into here so I think I'm gonna get a little bit of water it only rained for a little bit. It's still kind of cloudy. Um, it says it might rain some more, but I don't know. I don't know if it will. I hope it does, but it definitely cooled things down. It's in the mid-70s, although I didn't probably capture much rain. All of my plants got watered, so I won't have to water them today. I may not have to water them tomorrow, so that's good. Anyways, I saw the little sheep jumping around and playing in their pen, so that's good. Makes me feel happy. Um, neighbor family is taking care of the business just fine. And, uh, well, the chickens are doing great. Rabbits are doing great. Papa finally went number two in the yard. I was so worried because, well, since he's not been going out and roaming free, he's used to just going out wherever and doing his business, which is, you know, kind of gross. Um, seriously, if he's going to my neighbor's yard and, uh, doing his business, so. But he did last night, so, uh. And, and he seemed much happier after he did it, too. <laughs> Anyhow, well, nothing else is going on. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.